setting. Suddenly the sky turned blood red. I paused, feeling exhausted, and I leaned on the fence. There was blood and tongues of fire above the blue blood fjord of the city. My friend and I stood there trembling with anxiety. And I sensed an infinite scream passing through nature. What is on your mind when you view this painting? So many thoughts come to mind. What caught your attention the most? Is it the sky or can you see the sense of the person screaming? The Munch family saw Mudge suffering through poor health. Edward was five years old when his mother died of tuberculosis. About nine years later, his sister Janine Sophie had followed. Then his younger sister Laura was later in an asamia because of mental issues. The mental illness influences him to convulsed and torturous art. Munch kept turning again and again towards the memory of the illness. He wrote in diaries on how the insanity he had on a personal level with his family. At the time, the painting was towards how he was feeling emotionally. Munch had an unfortunate life. He felt ill many times in his childhood. He used art to express himself and his feelings. The scream is one of the paintings he let his anger out. Munch was training and developing his own style. The sick child painting is regarded as a new idea. He described the painting as soul painting. It would be the six pieces of the same name he made over 40 years ago. Each sick child depicts a moment before the death of his sister, where she is whispering to their aunt Karen. The article states Munch's first vision of the original published painting. He made the paintings after a real life experience with his friends. He wrote in diaries on how insanity had affected him. At the time, the painting was towards him feeling emotionally. The painting has no gender depicted. In the painting, you can see the scream's facial expression. It has implied lines, the sky is mostly towards organic lines, and the tiny boats are too. A lot of movement in the faces and the two friends in the back. Then repetition in the walkway. As you can see in the painting, the sky was red. It happened because an eruption at the island of Koroto in modern Indonesia created vivid red twilights in Europe. Olsen and his colleagues suggested Munch drew his inspiration for the sky in the painting from the Vonic twilight. As you can see, the facial expression within the main character and how narrow the sidewalk is, is viewing the two people in the back. The main focus are the scream and the two friends. According to the article, Munch painted what he was experiencing rather than what he saw, the painting towards life, which created a strange and dramatic work. Munch tries to connect with the audience around the world and in the scream, those barely know about the person in the picture. The scream is the main focus, although he or she was considering to be a gnome. The person did not have hair or had more of a bony face. Tales are told it could be Munch himself or his sister. When Munch made this painting, they were screaming. He could not tell if it was coming from the slaughterhouse or the insane. He stated in his book Behind the Scream, the screams of animals being slaughtered in a combination with the screams of the insane were reported to be a terrible thing to hear. According to his book Behind the Scream, he stated I was walking along a path with two friends. The sun was setting, suddenly the sky turned red. I paused feeling exhausted and leaned on the fence. There was blood and tongues of fire above the blue back door in the city. My friends walked on as I stood there. He was trying to explain how it is between the picture and why he made this painting. He describes how he felt when making the picture. He includes the blood on the fence in the walkway, as you can see the two friends on the back. He was trying to explain how it is between the picture and why he made this painting. He describes how he felt when making the picture. He includes the blood on the fence in the walkway, as you can see the two friends on the back. For my artwork, I drew what I thought would be the main focus which the screen is in the sky. 
The scream happens to be the bigger view since his head is more visualized. Meanwhile, this guy is something different since it actually happened that day. This happens to be the, his most famous artwork.